so if you've been wondering why it's been so long since my last video, or what I've been doing these last few months, you're about to get your answer. I've been investing a lot of time and energy into my latest project, with very promising results, and I'm looking forward to sharing my success with you. The past few months have been all about refining my new 7-inch long-range frame, along with countless test flights as I've been trying out a variety of components. The end goal of this project is not only a great 7-inch long-range frame, but also a list of my recommended parts, a build video, advice on tuning, filter settings, and more. All in an effort to help you build a quad that is nearly identical to mine, but without the months of work. The design is a blend of power, weight, and battery life capable of up to 20 kilometers with a full-size GoPro on board. It can handle dangerous mountaintop winds or slow right down and negotiate a tight flight path through trees. For a better example of a tight flight path through some trees, check out my waterfall hunting video on my YouTube page. A big part of getting comfortable with long-range proximity flying is your rates. That's why I'll also be sharing my new favorite cinematic rates for you to try out on your own build as well. I put a note about it at the beginning of the video, but just to be clear, I've used no stabilization of any kind. Color, contrast, and exposure are the only enhancements I've made to this otherwise raw GoPro Hero 6 footage. The camera was set to 2.7K, 4x3 aspect ratio, with a wide perspective, shot at 60 FPS and a shutter speed of 1 120th of a second with a camera butter ND8 filter. This flight was recorded a couple of months ago with an older version of the frame and the design has improved since then. I'll post another video soon flown with a newer version. I've recently partnered up with Chris Rosser for some assistance with vibration analysis as well as some significant structural improvement to the frame. So the final version will definitely outperform the quad I'm flying for this video. If you don't know who Chris Rosser is, you should check out his YouTube channel. It's a fairly new channel, but he already has a bunch of really interesting videos out that are full of FPV quad related information along with the science to help explain it. I'll put a link in the description. I'll include a bit about the setup I used for this flight in the description, but I'll go over a bit of it briefly with you right now. The batteries are two 18650 6S packs, which are each 2600 milliamp hours, for a total of 5200 milliamp hours at 6S voltage. I'm using TBS Crossfire for the control link with a diversity receiver. And the VTX is a TBS Unify HV set to 800 milliwatts. All the antennas I'm using are from TrueRC, with the exception of my own DIY 7 turn helical and the Immortal T that's on the front of my quad. Alright, we're just getting to the good part of the video, so I'm going to save some information for the next one and leave you to watch the rest of this. could have been a bit better for this flight. 
but for cruising along a mountaintop windlip on a cloudy day with seven inch props on, a few baubles are to be expected.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.